process of laser cutting metal um, at PCI goes pretty simply actually uh, for, for somebody that has never seen it done before. Um, but you end up just taking a standard material, which for us it's various different types of metal, put it onto a CNC controlled machine, which is our lasers. That machine then indexes that material into it and the process begins. Um, that process is in more detail defined as you know, a power source, creating a light beam mixed with an inert gas, which is pressurized and then it blows through that material and essentially evaporates it. Some of the very um, readily available metals that we have here at PCI range from a regular carbon steel, um, varying grades obviously, but carbon steel, stainless steel, then we have aluminum, and we get into some more exotic materials like the titanium. Um, that's not a heavy user for us, but it is something that we're perfectly capable of handling. Titanium, cutting titanium versus stainless is a lot, use a lot of the same te techniques for that. Um, use the same kind of gases. Titanium though is a little tougher. You can't cut quite as thick of titanium as you could if you're doing stainless. Um, if you're cutting steels, you're going to use oxygen, you're not going to use nitrogen, you're going to cut them, um, usually goes a little bit faster. Um, it doesn't cost as much because you're using oxygen as, a as an assist gas instead of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. um, but that's mainly the differences. Some of the thinner materials that we use are around that 25 thousandths to 30 thousandths thin as far as a minimum go, all the way up to three quarters of an inch. So a lot of our customers, uh, they don't realize the, the range that we have when, when we talk about laser cutting of metals. Some of the tolerances that our machines are capable of handling, um, which would be true position of plus or minus four thousandths, and repeatability of plus or minus two thousandths. So obviously those tolerances get bigger with certain materials as certain materials require different tolerance ranges. The thicker the material, the less tolerance you have um, that we're able to hold, but the thinner materials, we have a pretty tight tolerance on some of that things. Uh, one thing I can remember off the top of my head, we had a piece of material thinner than 25 thousandths where it actually had to be taped to a piece of cardboard to allow it to stay stable enough for us to cut through it because the gas pressure actually vibrated the material that bad that we were actually losing the cut. So by us able, uh, being able to take that and tape it to a thicker piece of cardboard and then cut through it uh, was where we were able to you know, complete that part for the customer. So. I just think the, some of the memorable things are some of the unique artwork that we do here is how detailed we can get cutting this stuff without it actually burning it away that you can't you can't make it out um, I think that's that's pretty interesting